For a long time, scientists have dreamed about nuclear fusion, a super clean way to make power. It's like a shiny dream in the distance, promising lots of energy without limits. But making it happen on Earth, copying what stars do, has been super hard. But guess what? Now there's a company that just showed off their our brand new proton engine. It's the first of its kind in the whole world. This crazy breakthrough has got everyone in the electric car business buzzing. This new engine uses nuclear fusion power, which could totally change how we get clean energy. And it might even shake up the electric car market that's been doing so well lately. Nuclear fusion, the holy grail of energy production, has been the subject of scientific pursuit for decades. It's the process of joining atomic nuclei to release energy, mimicking the same phenomenon that powers the sun and other stars. It's like the ultimate cosmic power-up. We've been trying to crack the code for ages now. Let's not confuse this with nuclear fission, the process used in current nuclear power plants. We've had our fair share of criticisms for fission, mainly because it's about as eco-friendly and renewable as the plastic bag in a landfill. Fusion, on the other hand, holds the promise of being a virtually limitless and clean energy source. It's like the unicorn of energy solutions. Everyone wants it, but it's notoriously hard to find. The idea of nuclear fusion as a potential energy source isn't exactly new. Back in 1929, the one and only Albert Einstein himself theorized about creating a proton engine based on nuclear fusion. The concept was to use the high fusion temperatures to expel a stream of protons and generate thrust, essentially propelling spacecraft at speeds that would make even Elon Musk raise an eyebrow. Previous attempts to create a nuclear fusion engine fell flat on their face due to technological limitations. However, in recent decades, there have been some pretty significant advances in various areas that have reignited our hope and finally built this revolutionary engine. So, what are these breakthroughs that have us all hot and bothered about nuclear fusion? Well, for starters, there have been major strides in plasma physics and material science. There's been development of new materials that can handle the scorching temperatures inside a fusion reactor. Then there's the development of advanced computing and simulation tools that have allowed scientists to model and predict the behavior of plasma under extreme conditions. It's like having a crystal ball for nuclear fusion, minus the whole fortune-telling gig. Another factor in the march to WS nuclear fusion glory is the progress made in understanding plasma physics and fusion itself. Scientists have been hard at work creating super precise computational models to simulate and control fusion reactions. The engineering side of things has also seen some impressive advancements. We're talking about innovative design for magnets and confinement systems that are crucial for creating and maintaining the conditions necessary for nuclear fusion. New techniques for magnetic confinement and electric fields have been achieved to corral the hot plasma, keeping it from touching the walls of the reactor. And now, Rockstar has announced the development of its nuclear fusion engine. The company was founded in 2021 and is now making waves in the aerospace industry for its latest development. Their ambitious goal is to create a revolutionary rocket engine that utilizes the fusion of hydrogen nuclei to generate an extremely high specific impulse, propelling space exploration into a new era of efficiency and sustainability. The core of Rockstar's design lies in harnessing the power of proton fusion, specifically through a funnel-shaped magnetic field. This innovative approach involves injecting protons into the wide end of the funnel and then compressing them as they approach the narrow end. This process results in the generation of extremely high temperatures and densities, setting the stage for releasing large amounts of energy through fusion. The released energy is converted into a plasma jet that is directed outward at high speed, providing necessary thrust to propel the rocket forward without relying on traditional chemical propellants. One of the key advantages of utilizing fusion fuel, particularly hydrogen, is its virtually inexhaustible nature. Unlike traditional propellants, which are finite and contribute to environmental degradation, hydrogen offers a renewable and abundant source of energy for powering space missions. Looking ahead, this could have far-reaching implications for the future of space exploration and transportation, potentially extending to terrestrial vehicles as well. In doing this, Rockstar has managed to achieve a remarkable feat by developing a technology that effectively doubles the range of electric cars. This achievement has garnered widespread attention and left industry experts and manufacturers alike 
Intrigued by its seemingly too good to be true capabilities, the company has also announced the first successful demonstration of their nuclear fusion enhanced Poles Plasma Firar drive. In order to fully grasp the magnitude of this achievement, it's important to understand the significance of electric propulsion drives. Unlike conventional chemical rockets, which rely on large amounts of fuel to generate thrust, electric propulsion drives operate on a different principle. These drives create a smaller amount of thrust, but are significantly more fuel efficient, making them a game changer in the field of space exploration. There are two main types of electric propulsion drives, ion drives and Hall effect drives. These drives are akin to the tortoise in the classic fable, steadily and persistently propelling spacecraft forward over extended periods of time. In contrast, chemical rockets act as a hare, providing short bursts of intense thrust fueled by a limited supply of propellant. The fuel-to-thrust ratio offered by electric propulsion drives is particularly crucial for spacecraft intended to remain in orbit for prolonged periods while still retaining the capability to maneuver as needed. Additionally, these drives are ideally suited for missions to the outer reaches of the solar system, as they can harness solar power and utilize a small amount of propellant to traverse vast distances. One notable example of electric propulsion technology is Rocket Star's Foundation Drive, which ingeniously utilizes water as its core propellant. This innovative approach not only showcases the company's commitment to sustainability, but also demonstrates the potential for utilizing abundant resources in space exploration. In a remarkable display of ingenuity, Rocket Star was able to enhance their existing electric propulsion drive by leveraging nuclear fusion. They achieved this feat by introducing boron directly into the drive's exhaust plume, effectively initiating a nuclear fusion reaction. This breakthrough can be likened to an afterburner injecting raw fuel into the exhaust of a jet to provide short bursts of speed, resulting in a substantial increase in efficiency. The fusion process in all electric thrusters has revolutionized the way we think about propulsion in space by creating a high-energy carbon that immediately decays into three alpha particles. The fusion reaction effectively breaks up the cloud of positive charge that is present in the exhaust of all electric thrusters. This breakthrough has significant implications for the efficiency and effectiveness of space travel. It's important to note that the fusion reaction does not directly increase thrust by forcing blasts of fusion radiation out the back of the thruster. Instead, the alpha particles generated by the fusion process serve to improve the existing thruster by reducing the space charge effect. This, in turn, increases the operating efficiency of the foundation drive, leading to improved performance and energy savings. According to the company's executives, this innovative approach to propulsion represents a significant step forward in space travel technology. They emphasize that the use of a very specific type of fusion has indirect yet powerful effects effectively sweeping away the obstacles that have hindered propulsion systems in the past. The impact of this improved propulsion technology was further confirmed during Phase 2 of the system's development at Georgia Tech's High Power Electric Propulsion Laboratory, HP, in Atlanta, Georgia. Not only did the drive exhibit the telltale ionizing radiation of the fusion reaction, but it also demonstrated a remarkable 50% increase in thrust for the base unit. These results have sparked excitement and optimism within the scientific and space exploration communities. The implications of these findings are far-reaching. The enhanced efficiency and performance of all electric thrusters will have a profound impact on future space missions, enabling spacecraft to travel farther and faster than ever before. This opens up new possibilities for exploration, research, and commercial ventures in outer space. Looking ahead, researchers and engineers are eager to further explore the potential applications of this groundbreaking technology. The fusion-based propulsion system represents a significant leap forwards in our quest to unlock the mysteries of the cosmos and expand our presence beyond Earth. What do you think about this new innovation? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section.